All right, we're going to start listening off by saying, Call on Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shine, Bahashem, Rakakadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of great meal, son of will. Shalom to the brothers out there preaching and teaching truth worldwide. Say Shalom to the hopeful lit. Today's lesson is entitled Holding Fast. <clears throat> so, yes, yeah, so I'm getting to basically holding fast to the truth that uh, the doctrine that you've been taught. You can't be persuaded and, and different doctrines where different camps may come out with or different heresies that that supposed men of the Lord are spewing in these last um, last days. So I want to start off with this revelation. I'm going to start at actual revelation uh, 3 and 10. I'm read down to the 11th verse. <clears throat> Revelation chapter 3 verse 10 because thou hast kept the word of my patience what the word when you go into the word patience that means to suffer it means to suffer I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth so this hour of temptation is going to come upon the whole world not just, just Israel not just the one third not just the two third, not just the other nations, everyone, the, the orcumentum, the entire inhabitants of the world. Matter of fact, let's look this up. Let's look it up. Let's double check. We are already in the blue letter. <clears throat> so let's look it up for a world. Orcumentum. G3625. So it's, it's talking about the whole, um, the whole inhabited earth, a world orcumentum. So this, <clears throat> this hour of temptation, is going to come upon the whole world. So let's just start from the top. <clears throat> Revelation three verse ten, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, means to suffer. I also will keep thee. Who's the Lord going to keep? The elect of the nation of Israel. That's who the Lord is going to keep. Two thirds, you're not going to be kept, because it's set up for you, for ultimately for you to get destroyed during this hour and temptation. Whether you take the take the um, uh, the karagma or wh whatever this damn devil, whether you, you die by taking Esau and and uh, whatever he has put out, because the injection that is this is that is an hour and temptation. So Salaki on that, I was about to say, take the jab. But that's not the hour and temptation. It's leading up the hour temptation is when you present it with the karagma. Whether you take it or you get or you die, you get your head chopped out. That's the that's the hour of temptation. But leading up to the hour and temptation, you're gonna have different things right now. Here it is. Um, this past year, people was forced with decisions whether to take take the take the jab or lose their job. A lot of Jake's buckled under that. So what do you think gonna happen when the, when that was that was like a trial run? What do you think is gonna happen when the real hour of temptation, when it's your life on the line and not your job? Jake is gonna fold. Gonna fold like a folding chip. That's why we gotta pray to Yahweh by Shema that the Lord keep the spirit on us so that we don't fold like a folding chip, so that we can make it through that hour of temptation. Because it's not only gonna try us, it's gonna try the whole world. Everybody's gonna be put put on um put on the stand, so to speak. <clears throat> I will also I'm uh I'm just reading from the top. Revelation three verse ten, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, because you kept this truth, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. So that cuts that whole um implantation Christianity. The whole rapture doctrine. No, just because if they believe that you, they, they're gonna be raptured up before, um, I guess during the before their so-called tribulation. No, no, no. To keep to be to keep someone means the Lord gonna keep the spirit on you to go through it. That's all it means. The Lord gonna put the spirit on the elect of the nation of Israel to go through it, whether they go all the way through it till they see Yahweh shall come back in them chairs. Oh, Lord, keep the spirit on you to, to deny the karatma and die by whatever means, whether um, Esau has a guillotine, um, firing squad, whatever this damn devil have for the, for the men of the Lord to die. 
during that time frame. Verse 11, Behold, Revelation 3, 11, Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast, hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. So you got to you gotta hold on to the truth. You got to be patient. You, can, you can't get impatient. Say, Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. You can't let this devil take your crown. But whatever any means that she said, I don't care this devil, devil friends, your family, your job. You gotta hold fast to the truth. You gotta stand on, you gotta stand on your square. You gotta stand on the, the wisdom, knowledge of the scriptures. You gotta understand. That's why you gotta eat this whole roll. You gotta understand if your family gets taken from you, guess what? You see him in the kingdom. What does Lord the Lord say he promised you a hundredfold? So if you lose your kids, your wife on this side, guess what? The Lord gonna promise you. Promise you a hundredfold. So that's why I got to hold fast with thy hands and let no man take thy crown. Can't let no no can't let no man take your crown. <clears throat> First Corinthians nine verse twenty four. <clears throat> know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize. So run that ye may obtain. So you got to run this. You got you got to run this race. So that you can um, receive the prize. What's the prize? The kingdom of heaven. You can't let no one take your crown. You can't let anyone take the prize from you. No matter what, any means necessary. You got to continue running this race. Cause what the the, the um, one thing about a race? Cause I'm a middle distance slash long distance runner. <laughs> when you run in a race, you start out fast. So that's symbolic too. When you get in, when you Learn your it's like what are you trying to do? You 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 watching videos, you learning, you taking notes. And then when you settle in a race, you get up to to your top speed. So my top speed and your top speed is different. So if I try to run someone else's race, what's gonna happen in a half a mile race or a mile race? I'm gonna burn out. Because when you running, you can feel the other person's energy but you know your speed when you run a half a mile which is two laps you know what you your optimum running level for for running to make sure you can complete this race and then have that kick at the end so that you can go through the line at the end so if i'm running your race i'm gonna burn out that's like until it's true here it is you see the apostles and elders doing four and five videos a day not so like not a well sometimes <laughs> apostle um Gabar, he may do two or three videos a day so yes brother do drop two three videos a day sometimes so here it is you seeing apostles and elders doing two videos a day just, just use that number and then you try to run their race what's going to happen to you you're going to burn out because that's that's not your race so the script even though the scripture said know ye that they which run in a race run all, but one receive the prize. So run that ye may obtain. That's their lot. That's the talents that the Lord gave the apostles and elders. They have more talents. So your race, you may can be, you maybe only can do one video every two to three days. So the Lord builds you up in the spirit. That's the race that you have to run, so that you can attain that prize. Because here it is, you try to run a race that isn't your race, you're going to burn out. So, in the, to finish up, you know, this whole running analogy, at the end of a race, what do you do? It's called a kick. Why do you kick? You kick so you can finish that race strong. Like, to the end, we're the end of the end. We're, we're the last of the last days. So, brothers should be kicking right now. Should be pumping out more lessons through the spirit. So much going on. You got the whole thing with Russia and Ukraine. You got over here in America, Babylon, a great uh, um, gas prices, food prices going up. Seeing like every time I go in the store, I see shrinkflation. So brothers should be kicking through the spirit. Should be pumping out more lessons so they can attain their prize. And I got this right here. Uh, Ecclesiastes. 4 verse 20, 28 strive for the truth unto death and the Lord shall fight for thee so long as you strive for the truth unto the death so that you can kick it 
so that you can kick in, uh, so, like, so that you are kicking, so that you can attain that prize, because you're running the race, the Lord going to fight for thee. Many ways, the Lord, Lord could give you spiritual powers during your hour of temptation. A Lord could put a spirit on someone else that's in that FEMA camp, spiritual powers, so they can break you out and them out. Because they see the Lord could have the spirit come upon them, seeing you getting ready to get uh, your head um, chopped off in guillotine. Lord could the spirit could put the spirit on them to to break out of where they are and free you from that. It's a lot of different scenarios because what? Because you strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee. At the end of the day, hey, got to strive for the truth unto death, so the so the a hey, so that you can attain that crown. So the Lord, you can hear the Lord doing a crown and ceremony. You know, saying serve it well done. Um, so yeah, I want to end this video just giving double honors to the apostles and elders, great meal song where I learned this truth. Shalom.